Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome back to Nietzsche. Last episode, we started a new series where we tried to make the sandbox mode as challenging and realistic as possible. So this casual strategy game has become a brutal roguelike survival. We have a large pack of animals and we need to keep at least some of them alive for the next 50 days. And we have two new babies. Our pack is up to 11. So I'm gonna bring claws up here. Maybe I can move these two over. I'm not sure what I'll do with Elizabeth yet. But this group of five here is looking pretty good with attacking, fishing, venomous. So that might be the way we want to go. In the meantime, we have a new baby. I'm going to call her Pink Horn. And then this boy is going to be Tallhorn. He only has one attack and one collect. Two digging. She has three attack. That's not bad. But yeah, I'm starting to question if I wouldn't rather go in a different direction. So actually Greenskin doesn't have any attack at all. He's just poisonous himself. But these guys are all... No, we don't like goofball. Elizabeth does have good fishing. But for right now, I want to focus on Spot and get him up here for claws and also for fangs. I'm going to take green skin, start moving him this way. What is this thing? A razorina. I don't think we can handle that. We can handle some meat right here. That gets us up to 17, which is not great. Adam has to collect and we can get some more berries. So that's 19. All right, Adam has two more turns and I think I know what I wanna do. Let's come down here next to Goofball and guess what, Goofball? I'm sorry, you're banished from the tribe. That gets our number down to 10, which is a little bit more reasonable. That will benefit us in the long run. We'll save a lot on food. So let's take Elizabeth and Greenskin and just keep exploring what's going on this way. They have a good collection of how to acquire food, so anything we come across, except this shell, of course, should not be a problem. Alright, that should do it for today. End the turn. And we're immediately down to nine food. So somebody would not get to eat at the moment. We can remedy that right now with Adam. He can get some berries. But keep in mind that we are in the danger zone. I'm going to take Spot and get him down here next to the coast and see if we can find fish or something like that. Here we go. A bunch of fish there. He's out of turns though. There is a berry bush over here that we haven't been getting much off of. I'm going to take green skin that way. Oh, here we go. Perfect timing. We're back up to 18. And Elizabeth can come hang out by the water. All 
Nothing to see here yet. I can send Adam up this way. Eventually we can get some berries through him. Let's just make sure that uh, Goofball here doesn't give us any problems. Go away. And of course I just poisoned myself. I should have known better. The kids though are old enough where we can start moving them around. Pinkhorn here does have some pretty good stats. Let's keep moving down this shore. Tallhorn not so much, but maybe we can find something to dig. And now that we can abandon these nests, we can get fangs down here and into one of them. And then they'll both be ready next turn. I think that's going to do it for today. So on to day four. And we've given birth to twins. That's a shocker. Up to 13 animals now. Green skin can collect some berries. As can Adam. That only gets us up to 10. Okay, we can get Adam down here and get a couple more berries. And that brings us to 12. Yeah, I realized I hadn't been using my sense of smell and whatnot, but honestly, it's not doing me a lot of good. Nothing much to see here. We're going to start bringing Elizabeth back this way. And then green skin as well. And Spot being the alpha. Green skin, you're going next. Sorry, it has to be done. We're down to 12. And we have 12 food. So right now we're fine, but I don't think we're going to make next turn. We need to venture out more and Swift is the perfect person to do that. We got a little bit of meat up here. Can we have somebody go claim it? Not this turn, but we're getting there. All right, right now, all the kids are still being supervised right next door to an adult. So into day five. And we've had more than a few die. None through starvation. And the meat that was there is no longer. Hmm. Yeah, we have some kind of disease going around. I'm not exactly sure what's causing it. It may just be a weak immune system. Remember, all of our traits, including our immunity traits, have been randomized. So down to 11 animals. Again, we're going to bring Elizabeth over just so we can kick her out of the tribe. Now we're down to 10. Adam can also get more food. That's up to four food. There's a coconut tree up here, but we don't have enough people who can get cracking. It's really unfortunate. Let's start bringing Pinkhorn up. That will benefit us eventually. These guys though, Eve and Claws, they need a berry bush or somebody to attack. We're not finding either. No fish around this part of the island, unfortunately. Tallhorn is not great, but 
still no food on this berry bush. It's raining right now. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Send fangs looking for food. No luck, I believe, though. All right, so all of the adults have been made into omegas. And Pinkhorn, our only female adolescent, is the only alpha. So she will eat. Everybody else is a toss-up. We are out of moves into day six. And we're down to five animals. And those five animals are all the young. So tall horn and pink horn are brother sister. And then we have, we need to work on the names here. Let's go with yellow tail, long face, and spot junior. And they're all relatively the same age too. Remember, pink horn is the only female. They're not ready to mate yet. They're not old enough. She does have two collectos, so let's get her up here. We can finally get some berries. These guys all only have one move. This berry bush is dry again. So we can start looking for more food down here. Longface is also sick and almost dead. Spot Jr. is doing a little bit better. They both have fantastic attack. I'm going to get him over here just in case we have the opportunity to mate. Looks like Yellowtail doesn't have any food collecting at all. I'm not sure if he's just too young. And that's our turn into day seven. And we are down to four animals, which means we failed the challenge. Seven days in. So, like I said, I wanted it to be hard. It is. For anybody that doubts, I think you should check this game out for yourself. It's got an adorable style, but underneath it is a great strategy game. And with the sandbox settings, you can make it as easy or as hard as you please. You can set any objective you want, exclude enemies you don't like. So you have tons of flexibility, lots of islands, and a lot of replayability. So it comes strongly recommended from me. So I don't know if you'll see it again on the channel, but hopefully you'll try it yourself. So for now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been the excellent Niche, a genetic survival game. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. And have a good night. We got more up here. And that's it. We failed the event. Makes it 2 now. For duty. Get all these archers Fire behind the lines. The good news is that we are profitable. And we need to focus on the boat. I've been cuckolded. Minus 100%. Ah! Job done.